All right, let's check out some food reviews on Yelp today. Why don't we start with McDonald's? That's a nice starting point, classic place. It's in the mission, it's relatively clean, and there's no longer a stench of urine throughout the restaurant. Color me surprised. Update. I stand corrected. I've discovered the stench of piss in another part of the restaurant. Well, it is the mission after all. Can't always get what you want. Five stars. Wow. I mean, if you don't mind the smell of urine, then uh, head down there. Apparently it's the best McDonald's ever. After eating half a burger, I noticed the bun was burnt. Tossed it. We love to see you die. Huh? Wait, who said that? Did the cashier say that when they were giving you the food? Or did Ronald McDonald tell you that? One star, by the way. I am addicted to junk food, but is this a dog-friendly place? I always see people bringing in dogs and they sit with them at table. The manager never does anything. He's a funny, rude guy. Reminds me of Archie Bunker from All in the Family. But his brown. <laughs> but, he, but his brown. What? Two stars. Alright, here's one from Jack in the Box. Last night, I came here with my boyfriend and was promptly verbally assaulted by a female patron. She appeared to be homeless and was clearly struggling with severe mental illness. I would guess schizophrenia and or psychosis. Also, we got like a psychology major right here. She left the restaurant and went to stand outside and then continued to turn around, point and scream at us through the glass. At this point, I'm teary eyed and shaking like a leaf. You may be wondering at this point what the employees did to intervene and help us in this situation. Nothing. One girl grinned. After they left, the only action they took was a lazy, hey, thanks for listening to that. I'll only charge you for your tacos and not the drink to my boyfriend. I paid full price. Damn. <laughs> I know that these jack-in-the-box employees are mostly teenage kids without crisis intervention training or a psychology background. I tried to sympathize with that, but could you ever imagine the above scenario playing out, for example, at Chick-fil-A? Uh, yeah. I could, yeah, probably, depends on the area. It's another fast food with a young staff, but they actually care about the customer. Is this just a advertisement for Chick-fil-A? That their employees will protect you from crazy homeless people. Okay, that's good to know. One star. All right, now we're trying out a more obscure place called Tom's Burger. This is so exciting. I've driven past this place at least 100 times and never eaten here. I can't believe what I've been missing. Food is delicious for real. Great prices and they have boba. I can't remember the last time I used this many exclamation points. This is most deaf my new spot. Five stars. Ah, oh, wow, he likes it a lot. And update. It is with a heavy heart that I write this update. For today was the last day that my wife and I will ever patronize this establishment. The food here is very good, but we all know how bad service can ruin a favorite spot in an instant. My wife and I have been coming to Tom's nearly every other day since we discovered it. Five times in eight days. Damn, he, he really liked it. We decided to utilize the drive through feature for the first time to order a pair of drinks. Maybe we should have gone inside. Maybe I shouldn't have impulse ordered a carne asada plate. Who knows? We got to the window and were told by the lady that she couldn't make the drinks because she had too many orders. Not because they didn't have the product, not because the machine was down. She simply didn't think that fulfilling our order was as important as the other orders she had. Flat refused. Fair enough. She will never have the problem of taking an order from us again. She lost an enthusiastic, loyal, paying customers who will now tell everyone that they know never to come here because she didn't want to take the time to make something that she advertised for sale. There are a lot of places where I can exchange my Federal Reserve notes for sustenance. Sadly, Tom's will no longer be one of them. Au revoir, Tom. Au revoir. One star. Went here a couple times with a high school friend who said it was good. I think he just went because his name is also Tom, to be honest. Two stars. Alright, fair enough. Didn't enjoy how they charged me $150 for a $15 order. I understand mistakes happen, but the way they handled it wasn't easy. Jesus Christ, that is a... that's a bad typo. How did, how did they handle it? They just... they didn't want to give them their money back? Uh, you know, it's a real pain in the ass to, like, redo, restart the machine after you put in a, the order already. Uh, could you just pay for it? It would really, you know, it would really be helping me out. Two stars. Alright, this one's a Denny's. Moving up a little bit, moving from fast food to the restaurant. Please don't come on this location, because they had taken forever on your order. Especially on midnight, slow staff, I don't even know if they put my order on the POS. 
One order for more than 20 minutes? I mean, really? I ended up getting my ordi for free. One star. <laughs> that's kind of a that's kind of a weird way to end it. Like, I ended up getting my food for free. One star. Like, they didn't really say the food was bad. They just said that the service was slow. I don't know. If I got free food, I think it would make up for it. But damn, one star. Okay. No, 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 no. Three people. Early breakfast midnight snack at 3 a.m. in the morning. Sit down. First time at Denny's in general, and of course this place. Damn, this guy sounds pissed. What what they do? No service at all. Food did not try because I was full from fish tacos at Taro's taco stand, but chocolate milk was alright. Too much food. Have a lighter option before I can edit this review. One star. Damn. Denny's you messed up. You gave this guy way too much food. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you, you gotta expect that, you know, your customers are gonna show up already full, so you can't give them too much food, man. You're gonna get, a bit, you're gonna get some bad scores there, Denny's. You gotta, you gotta pull back on your serving size. All right, here's one from that same reviewer uh, for this Asian place called Chuko's. Let's see, uh, let's see if he's still picky. Two people, dinner, first time. Wait two to three minutes. They passively rush you out with the check. Bar is half full. Not too filling, not too full. I like the soy. Eggs were decent. Three stars. Oh, okay, so he, he does like stuff. It just has to be not too filling. They need to give you an exact amount of food so that you're not too full, but then you're not too hungry. So you see, they still didn't get it quite right because they only give them three stars. You see, now I'm interested. What does it take for this guy to rate a place five stars? Things I love. Decent pizza, non-comfort food. What's that? Like comfort food is like, comfort food is just food that like tastes good, right? Do not like after effects of food. So you don't like being full. Yeah, so his reviews are accurate. If, if the food makes him full, then he doesn't like it. Huh, okay. 